Gee, I hope he's not looking for breakfast. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Grounded. This is what I was talking about with the, the depth of field. Like, I didn't even see the crow, though. The crow was up there, and I saw this thing move, this uh, thing move off in the corner of my eye, and I realized, oh yeah, there's a crow here, and I forgot that he was actually in the game. Uh, I don't know if it's a problem or not, and I was also starting to think about if it actually rains. If it rains, oh my god, we're done for. But, I didn't even notice this before. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. <gasps> Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I'd be saying, too. If I woke up and I was, I was this size and I saw an ant that was waist high on me. But yeah, we got to analyze the grass plant here. Go ahead and we'll analyze that. Uh, do a little bit of resource gathering off camera and um, this actually starts getting uh, start building stuff. It doesn't get everything. We do have to go visit Burgo, which we're going to do today. And that wasn't enough to unlock new stuff. Anyway, uh, that's all I can craft right now. So we can go ahead and we can go ahead and drop that. Or we can, I believe we can actually huck it. Yep. Ah! Just like I did with the axe. Anyway, uh, yeah, I did uh, craft myself up a little pebble, pebble hammer. So we're going to use that eventually. Uh, I do have some food. I gotta cook that before it spoils. Uh, the mushrooms don't seem to spoil, so should be okay on that. Anyway, we gotta go. Uh, well, we gotta build a workbench. Yeah, let's do that now. Let's go over here. I haven't actually decided where I want to build set up yet. I was, like I said, I was behind the research tent there, but the grass is in the way, and apparently you can't build on this. But I'm almost wondering if you can possibly build down here. Let's uh, see if we do have base stuff. Not showing any pallets or anything. Or not the pallets. Uh, foundations. And that's because we need we need lumber. And uh, grass isn't our, isn't our lumber. Dandelions are. And this is what we use to build log houses. That's actually what I was doing. That's what you saw. Uh, wolf spider trapped in was a uh, house made out of dandelions. <laughs> I love the sounds. <laughs> Alright, yes. Oh, yeah, this is what we build our uh, structures out of and stuff like that. I do have to run over here and you know analyze one of them. It's just like in, just like in any other game like uh, Subnautica and stuff like that. We have to scan things. You have to scan all the things. Scan everything. <laughs> And this will get us some stuff. So, door frames, scaffolding, wood walls, stuff like that. That's cool. We actually make plant fibers out of this, and we leveled up, which doesn't mean much, except for we can make ant parts now. Now, I'm trying not to kill the ants, because, well, you know, it's power in numbers, right? Now, let's see if we can actually throw this whole bundle. That's the wrong button. Sure. Works. Tell this kid's perfect for sports. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, we need to build a workbench too. What do I need for the workbench? I would like to get some armor if I can. Uh, even if it's just clover stuff. Actually, I do need the workbench for it. Alright, uh, workbench. I am missing the planks I just threw away. I need sap too. Uh, sap seems to grow on any roots. Uh, there is tool tiers. As you can see, I need a, a level 2 axe to cut down the husky weed here. 
Uh, yeah, so we can actually tame those and they can be pets, or we can have them for food or other things. We'll grab that. Uh, oh, I think that's uh, one of the weevils. I thought there was another one on this one here. There it is. Okay, I'll grab that. I gotta grab. Uh, I guess we just could chop down another chunk of bladed grass here. I'll get rid of this one. Uh, I don't know if it grows back or not. That was a clover. That's not what I wanted. But I'll take it anyways. Is that Ned drunk or something? It's coming right at me. Get out of my airspace. <coughs> Where is he? Where is he? Am I wearing that cologne or something? I haven't killed one of these yet. Do I have anything on me? Going after? Going after? No. Gnats are just gnats. Uh, I need grass. Uh, grass everywhere. There's just little spiders everywhere. Bombardier beetles and larvas and lawn mites and all other kind of things that are normally significantly smaller than me that can uh, do some serious damage if I'm not careful. Alright, let's build ourselves a little workbench here. Get rid of that, and there we go. Alright, so we have that. Now what, do we want? what is it? What does it want us to do? He said armor. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. I actually want to get some armor. Uh, there is different types of armor. Some of them will resistance. The ant is about the same, but it had a full, I think this is a full set bonus. You have it all, then it gives you hauling strength, which gives you extra carrying capacity. Well, maybe it's not, but as you can see, you'd actually need ant parts. You have to go and take care of the ants. There's mite stuff, but we need the grubs for that. Uh, there's an eye patch, which does zero, but there's also clovers. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. All right, clover hood. A cl clover poncho, so we'll craft that. And then craft that. And clover shin guards. And I need more fiber. Always need more fiber at my age. Oh, I discovered a hood after I crafted it. What do you know? Uh, need fiber. There's a fiber. Alright. Funny thing is, little things like that you don't even see. Not until you're this small. Uh, do I not have enough rope? Like, but I had enough fibers on it. Let's try this again. There we go. Craft that, and we'll craft that, and now we should have some decent. I won't say decent armor, but we do have. I won't say safe. It's just made out of clovers. Now there's stuff we can make out of acorns, but apparently it aggro's other, other uh, insects. Was there anything else I made? No uh, accessory slot. We can uh, accessories. We can use the uh, dandelion tufts as these things here. We can use them as uh, like little parachutes. I should grab one of those. Let's do that right now. Um, I'm sure there's more where that came from. Kind of makes me wonder if anybody's actually managed to chop down all the grass in this game. There's a lot. Now there should be a tuft over here somewhere. There's one. Let me go ahead and pick that up. And that is our, our glider. Okay, so now uh, I probably should make a few other things. Uh... Well, we gotta get a shell before I can even go ahead and make a shield. Uh, crafting as I want. Uh, probably do want a spear, just because. Oh, that's uh, not what I'm looking for here. Oh, pebble spear, yes. Plant fiber and sprigs. Sprig. 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 I don't know if that was a sprig or not. Grab that, and plant fibers. That, and... Don't be running off into the woods, just out of nowhere. Oh, sorry, don't go running off into the lawn, just out of nowhere. You never know what you're going to run into, or what's going to run into you. Alright, now, move this. I think we'll do this. I think so, not that I ever used hotkeys. What was that noise? Uh-oh. Uh, 
is that noise? Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I gotta find somebody to drink. I gotta find somebody to drink, and we gotta go investigate that tree. Uh, what I should do, actually, is pick up those last two weevils. Won't make another spit, because I already have one here. I don't know if that's what that's what's making the noise. Sounds like a sounds like a tank or something. Jeez. All right, let's go and uh, cook up the last of these weevils. Cook that. Cook that. I'll run over here and grab some water. And we'll go hit up that tree. So I'll bring you back when this is all done. Okay, I'm back. Ate some, drank some nasty water, and I'm starving now because when you drink bad water, you you get hungry. All right, so now we'll go ahead and. Consume that, consume that. Alright, we are good to go. I swear to god, I hear something thumping. I don't know if that's a, it's that crow or... Or what? Or if that's a ladybug somewhere. I don't know. Oh! I think it's just a ladybug. Well, look at this thing. Ladybug coming through! That's probably what it is, is the sound of the grass bouncing around. Where are you off to, Ant? Alright, let's go over here and uh, hope nothing runs into us. Oh, I missed. Okay, so... I sort of know where I'm going. Like uh, This is about as far as I went, is getting to the, the first lab. Uh, tropical Punch. Yes, we have discarded juice boxes laying around. And from my experience, there's tend to be unpleasant things kicking around too that you don't want to deal with. I hear something. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, we are going to the tree. There is also a map to it. Sort of gives you a rough idea of all the things. It's actually a huge backyard. Massive. That we will get to shortly. Uh, trees over here. Now, uh, the very first time I came through here, yes, I had a few incidences already in the game. I was attacked by a bomb bombardier beetle. And, oh my god, that thing came out of nowhere. And next thing it was poisoned, and that was it. And I think you gotta be careful here because I think there's weavers close by in this area here. Nice neuter, dude. I just know I have to go towards the. Towards the big tree here, because that's where the lab is. Uh, you can actually get there ahead of time, but uh, you need the explosion to open it up. And I'm getting lost here, so I'm gonna cut recording here. Hopefully, nothing comes out of nowhere. If it does, I'll try to get it recorded before they eat me. So I'll see you there. Now oh, we're at another juice box here, Lemon Crime. There's actually a few of these. Oh, that scared me. Yes, uh, lets you know that there's science-y type things you can pick up. You can actually find the raw science laying around. I can't remember what was a safe way to go. Uh, that's where we gotta go, but I also do know that there's orb weavers around here. I don't know if they were introduced after the last update or what, but... Yeah, I'm not quite ready for spiders yet. Actually, this is what I gotta do while I'm here. I wanna get some of these acorns. The acorn's gonna get us things like shovels and other things. And also get little bits of nuts we can eat. And we actually need those caps too. Uh, I didn't see where that little piece went. But like I said, I do have to be careful. Those are our spiders you gotta watch out for. Go ahead and just grab a few more acorns. Alright, how many shells am I getting out of that? We got, we got three so far. And we got, oh, uh, what do I need for this? I can find sap anywhere. Oh, another acorn. Yay. This is what I made about the, the small little things. They look so big in here. In here. We're going to play in this game. And we have a nice little pond with more drinks and all that stuff. Yeah. Alright, uh, the reason why I'm trying to gather up the, as much of these as I can is because, uh, needless to say, I'm going to be losing my stuff a few times, so 
Make sure I have it. Okay. Let's go meet Burgle. I'll always come back here later. Listen, I love how everything looks around here. Just so much you can explore and find. And I like how I can actually jump on the clovers. I'm so small. Ow. Still hurts when I land, though. Alright, so we are going up in here, and uh, like I said, there's going to be some spiders around here, so we have to be careful. Well, I have to be careful. Yeah, that's where we're going. I know, just over here, maybe. Let's go see if we can take a little peek. Uh, no. I can hear them. I'm sure they can hear me. Let's not act with them, shall we? Grab that. And in we go. Explore the lab. I just wonder if they have always hide little secrets in here. These games. Okay, pinkier, pinker. I would have said pinkier, but sure. Yeah, it's definitely getting pink. Probably a little more purple, I'd say. Oh, we can uh, analyze some stuff. Analyze that. Get our shovel. And uh, storage chest, water container, sign frames, and continue. Alright, let's go to the next one. We can uh, get this. I think we need this for the, the mixer. For making smoothies and stuff like that. Uh, fence, smoothie station, sap catcher, spinning wheel. Okay, what else? And our, our nut bits. I don't know what this gets us. Boost juice. Cool. All right, let's get looting. What's this? I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Now, I haven't been able to figure out what this guy we'll is. Like, is he like an automated fast food employee this or what? Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully, I can explain. That's a little confusing. All right, so let's see what we have to say. I'm sure this must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I hope so. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? I somehow don't trust him. Anyway, uh, let's ask some questions. You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Who is Dr. Wendell Tell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c c corrupted memory banks. 
How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Do I need chips like you? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix the spacer? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault! Code 408B3000! Ominent OS script runtime error! Arg! I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. There are other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. The Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me. And spiders. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ships. And try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! And this is about as far as I got. So yeah, so we go over here, we actually uh, we get our bio metrics installed into the system but dramatically and this unlocks this terminal that, that we can see in the full research sense this allows us to do things I didn't do it long enough I got impatient but allows us to unlock new recipes and do the quests and all that stuff and there we go we're done so this is the thing we have burgle quests we go in here see things like uh Kill four gnats, kill four ant, uh, worker ants, or find a grave robber burger gel, burger chip, and I have absolutely no idea where that is. Gives you a little bit of clue to where to go, but I haven't checked that out. But anyway, we go back in here, and this is where we can do the right things, I should say. Go in here, and this is where we can unlock stuff. So there's a smithing station that allows us to upgrade weapons, uh, allows us to 
make things to upgrade wet tools and stuff like that. We need to actually find these resources. And then uh, I was having trouble finding floors in my first playthrough. And apparently they're multi-store base or bases, and that's where the grass floors are. And of course, they do have res resistance and stuff like that. Uh, different other things like meat shield. Oh, a mutation that unlocks, unlocks max health. And yeah, so that is that. So next, we gotta find the hedge lab. And that's about, where's I, about as far as I got. Uh, let me check the recording time here. I think we're about time, but uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, this is just about time to I'll call it. That. Yeah, you do that. Uh, but what we're gonna do before we call this is I know there is an opening here, and I think there was, yes, some raw science we could pick up here. And I believe there's another tape over here. Verbal transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Verbal, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list, deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> Anyway, you ready for it? You ready? Science. Yeah, science rock science. So yeah, we find science as we go through, and uh, the science is just extra research points that we can unlock new things. Uh, I do have to go spend some science in there, but there's more here, and this is a big one. I don't think it's dramatic enough. Then we'll go ahead and spend our points. We got 1,500. Uh, Saints, methane, and cooking. Uh, at the same time, too, I'd also like to have a place to stay, so I think for now we're going to go ahead and buy multi-story multi bases so we can have, like, actual floors. Uh, we have just every, just about everything else. Uh, we can get uh, the smithing station, the cooking later, uh, as we research more things. But with that, I think we're going to call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Shadow. What you got now?